So let's take a look at Citrix Workspace combined with Microsoft technology such as Windows Virtual Desktop and of course Microsoft Azure. And before I begin, I do want to point out that on this MacBook, I am not connected to an enterprise network and there are no traditional VPNs. I'm just using an internet connection through a, a wireless access point. So I begin by opening Citrix Workspace and right away I'm challenged for authentication. So you'll notice that's asking for a username and a password and I'm going to go on ahead and put in my password. Keep in mind that you can bring your own identity provider to Workspace so that you could leverage something like Azure AD or Azure AD plus MFA so that you could have multi-factor authentication. So that means that with one very solid, very secure authentication, everything that I need to do my job is basically unlocked for me here on this device. Now we'll talk a little bit more about it in a moment, but these activity feeds and actions, they're part of Citrix Workspace and the vision to organize, guide, and automate work. Already I have a lot of things organized for me right here. For example, if I go to the Apps tab here and I look at all the different applications, you can see that I have traditional virtualized applications as well as SaaS applications and they can be made more secure. I'll have more on that in another demo a little bit later. In addition to that, if I go to the Desktops tab, you'll notice that in my case I have multiple Windows Virtual Desktops from around the world. Now, depending upon who the user is, they may just have one desktop and it could be hosted in the Azure cloud. Or you could even have a cloud hosted desktop as well as an on-premises desktop or even a physical on-premises PC. And you can get access to it through Workspace. It's all based upon who I am and that is determined by the Citrix Virtual Apps and Desktop Service. Additionally, I have down here my files and within files I even have a connector which takes me right out to OneDrive for business. I have a few sample files in here just to show you that right here from the workspace I can access OneDrive. But we're more interested in Windows Virtual Desktop and I will point out here that the most recent things that you access, things that you use every day, they show up in these recent apps and desktops over here on the right and I'm going to click on WVD Americas. At this point the Windows Virtual Desktop is uh, up and running in Azure and the connection is being made through Citrix HDX and just like that I'm inside of a virtual desktop coming from Azure and as you can see here um, I, I'm single sign on in. So let's learn a little bit more about this virtual desktop that is launched for us and if I go and type WinVir you can see here that the version is Windows 10 and it is Windows 10 Enterprise for Virtual Desktops. That means it's a multi-user OS, meaning that uh, more than one user can use this particular virtual instance that's running in Azure. And if we want to prove that we're in Azure, I can open a browser and I can just type in Watts My IP and I'll choose one that I know works really well here. Uh, if I go right here to this one and open it, you'll see here that it shows that indeed the ISP is Microsoft Corporation. This is coming out of San Antonio. Obviously, that's where this particular virtual desktop is hosted. So earlier, I pointed out that OneDrive was available within Workspace. So I could actually upload files into there or quick view files or share from there. What about my virtual desktop? Well, those same files are available right here inside of that virtual desktop. And as a matter of fact, if I want to go ahead and open one of those files, the full version of Office is there as well. So what about something very rich like uh, Microsoft Teams, for example? I'm going to go ahead and minimize this and I'll click on Microsoft Teams. And one of the things that is better together with Citrix and Microsoft is the, the, the rich experience that you get with Microsoft Teams. The two companies work together to create uh, Teams optimization. And if I go to the About, you'll notice here it says Optimize for Citrix HDX. And keep in mind that I'm actually doing this demo here uh, on a Mac. So that optimization works across multiple platforms. What it basically means is that 
while Teams is running inside of the virtual desktop, being hosted hundreds, maybe thousands of miles away from me, the actual media experience, the audio and video is being redirected to this endpoint device, in this case my Mac, so that it renders here locally that portion of the team's experience and I get a great experience. And speaking of experience, that's one of the things that Citrix HDX brings to the table. I'm actually going to bring this full screen now. And let's say that I want to uh, look at a video, or maybe you have some sort of internal training video. Uh, and even though we are accessing a virtual desktop from many uh, hundreds of miles away, I'll turn this down a little bit. PJ my old friend, it is so good to see you. You can see here that I'm getting so a great experience, even with uh, moving full motion video inside of the virtual desktop and that's the power of Citrix HDX just one of the many things uh, which makes the solution between Citrix and Microsoft better together.